Hey, what do you guys want to do during lunch break? Come on, hide and seek. Sounds good. Let's use the whole entire school to hide. Erika-chan, does hide and seek sound good for you? Hmm, hold on. Let me think. My name is Erika. I attend Soprano Elementary. I'm in sixth grade. Because of my parents' work, I lived in America since I was young, and I came back to Japan two years ago. It was raining every day until yesterday. But since it was sunny today, we all decided to play together during lunch break, but... If you play hide and seek, it's no fun to be it. I'd be okay being it, but if someone else became it, I'd feel sorry for them. Hey, why don't we play dodgeball instead of hide and seek? Huh? Okay, but why? Because I feel sorry for the person becomes it if we play hide and seek. Actually, you're right. Let's play dodgeball. I agree with Erika-chan too. Just as I expected, Bakarat always seemed to understand. Bakarat and I became friends at daycare before I moved to America. And when we met again, he remembered me. How about the loser team gets some kind of punishment? What? What are you going to make them do? Impersonate Puni. Wow. Don't use me as your punishment, Puni. In the end, Bakarat's team lost and Bakarat was impersonating Puni. I'm Puni Puni. <laughs> <laughs> Bakarat's such a good person. He really took the punishment seriously. Oh, that's the bell. Let's go back to class. Man, it's already fifth period. Next class was English, right? Oh yeah, the new teacher's coming today. I wonder what he... she's going to be like. I don't want to go to English class. I hate it. English is fun. Well, it's easy for you to say. You used to live in America. Shush! I haven't told anyone else. It's a secret. Oh yeah, I forgot. My bad. Saying I used to live in America may sound like I'm bragging, so I've kept it a secret to everyone besides Bakarat. I have to make sure I don't talk in English class either. Alright everyone, please take your seats. Ah, it's the new teacher. She's a woman. Hello everyone, my name is Aki. I'm an English teacher and... Wow, she's already speaking English. I wonder if everyone could keep up. We are a family of four. My elder sister lives in America. I have lived in America for three years. She's lived there for three years. No wonder she's fluent. <laughs> no one seems to understand what I'm saying. After this class is over, my students are going to look at me with respect for sure. Hey, what did she just say? Um, she's a family of four and their sister lives in America. And she's also lived there for three years, too. I see. Hey, you guys right there. Are you listening? Y yes If you don't understand, you can just say, I don't understand, and ask questions. I... I understand. <laughs> Honestly, no matter how much you score high, Japanese who can't speak English are stupid. Regarding that point, everyone's lucky. I, who lived in America for three years, will teach you English hard. Actually, the truth is, I only studied abroad for a month, but you guys are elementary students, so I'm sure you won't find out. Let's all study hard so no one thinks you're stupid. Silence. Ah, everyone's totally put off. Even I would be afraid if I could keep up if I hadn't lived abroad. Oh my, did I say too much? Oh well, the fun class is about to begin. First, let's check your pronunciation. Let's see. Takashiku? <laughs> Here. Pronounce apple for me. Uh, apple? Alright, your pronunciation is so typical. If you know what I mean. 
Takashi-kun, have you ever pronounced apple before? Yes, I have. I see. How unfortunate. Be careful when you pronounce the R and L. Your pronunciation was a R. Well, this is a little hard for Japanese. I mean, it's easy for me, but... <laughs> Wait, wasn't Takashi-kun's pronunciation right? Well, it's not his fault. It's hard for Japanese to understand the difference between R and L. Even teachers make mistakes sometimes. You're thoughtful, Bunny. But it's not good for everyone's education if they learn something wrong. Let me ask a question. Sensei, I have a question. You're Erika san, right? Go ahead. How do you pronounce orange? Orange is pronounced orange. Hmm? I think she just pronounced R with a L. I didn't know. I thought it was orange. Oh, but really? Where I came from, we pronounced like this. That's a hard excuse, Bunny. Is that so? It's true pronunciation may differ from region to region, but there's no way R become an L. Wha what is it with that girl, Erika? She's got ridiculously keen observation. Well, she's just a kid anyways. I'll just forget about it and move on. Does everyone understand maid? What? What's a maid? <laughs> no. That's a pretty girl serving. I mean, that's the past tense of make. Is she trying to teach us something hard already? Oh, I know that one. Make means makeup, right? Y you're right. Kesho is makeup. It's the same make. Bakarat, you're actually right. Make means make. And you learned this in middle school. But I'll teach you now. They both mean it's made from something, but... They're both the same? Yep, that's the point. What comes after of and from are ingredients. For example, cheese is made from milk. Means they use cheese to make milk. She is right about that, but her pronunciation still seems a little weird. On the other hand, this desk is made of wood. Means they use trees to make this desk. Wait a minute, her pronunciation is weird. Both milk and wood sounded so Japanese. After of comes an ingredient you can see. And after from, comes an ingredient you can't see. <laughs> I guess this was a little too hard for them. But then, again, it is common sense. Before we learn about grammar, I have to do something about the teacher's pronunciation. S sensei Yes? Oh, it's you again. I think the way you pronounce milk and wood was a little different. What? Don't tell me. But they're easy words. Wait, am I really wrong? It, is that so? But, well, no one really cares about pronunciation in America anyways. <laughs> erika san could I have a moment? Yes, what is it? It's what happened earlier in class. Oh, I'm probably going to get in trouble because I spoke up. Could you not tell me that I'm wrong in class? Ah, uh, I knew she was going to say that. But, but if everyone learns it the wrong way, they're going to end up... No, it's alright. Everyone didn't even notice it was wrong in the first place. At school, what the teacher says is always correct, so don't go confusing the other students. 
It's probably a waste of time trying to go against her. Okay, I understand. Wow, she's surprisingly honest. It's okay if you understand. Alright, see you in next class. Three days later, it was time for English class again. Today, I'm going to talk about my sister. My sister, Akane, is two years older than me. I like saying with her. Huh? Saying with? They both do mean to talk, but you're supposed to say talking with in this case. Maybe she's actually saying it wrong on purpose? If that's true, that's crazy, Puni. She told me not to correct her, but... Ah! I just can't stand it! Sensei, if you want to say you like talking to her, aren't you supposed to say I like talking with her? What? It's her again? I told her not to correct me the other day! What? Really? I don't know what's right at all. But if Erica says so, it's gotta be right. Yeah, you are right. Looks like I made a mistake. Ah, Erika sounds really annoying. No one besides her didn't even notice. It's your fault that you made a mistake, Bunny. Erika san, I'm sorry, but could you come down to the teacher's office after this? What? Again? I want to talk about the future with you again. Huh. <sighs> I wonder what she's going to say this time. Didn't I tell you not to correct me every single time the other day? Yes, but I just couldn't help but notice. You don't have to notice. Then why don't you try speaking correct English? A anyways, next time you better not interrupt. Next week is Parents Day, so don't be making comments you don't need to. Don't embarrass me. That doesn't seem right. But if I go against her, it's just going to make trouble. I'll just nod to get by. I understand. A week went by and it was parents day and we were in Aki Sensei's class. I'm not going to say anything today. I'm not going to say anything today. Alright, let's start the fun English class again. Takashi-kun, do you remember how to pronounce apple you learned the other day? Y yes Good! Try saying it, please. Uh, apple. Oh, that was not very smooth. That's how the typical Japanese do. That's called Japanese English. What? But it's hard! What the hell? She's picking on Takashi again. She probably called on Takashi because she knows Takashi won't say anything back. And besides, she doesn't even seem to realize that her own pronunciation of apple is wrong again. Come on, Takashi-kun. Try pronouncing again. Uh, again Yes. Come on now. Repeat after me. Apple. Uh, apple. I feel sorry for Takashika. I can't stand it anymore. Excuse me, Sensei. What is it, Erika-san? I think your pronunciation is wrong. <gasps> About the pronunciation of R and L, your version of apple is pronounced as R. She, she's done it again. Oh, oh really? Takashi-kun, you may take your seat. I told so many times not to, and yet she comes pointing out my mistake again. You know what? I'm going to make her suffer the same. Erika-san, you seem to be very good at English. Could you introduce yourself? In English, of course. <laughs> Even Erika wouldn't be able to speak in English on the spot. <laughs> I understand. Hello, my name is Erika. I'm 12 years old. I lived in America from 3 to 10 years old. I like playing dodgeball with my friends. Wh wait a minute. 
What did Erika-san just say? By the way, Miss Aki, how long did you live in Japan? What? Oh my god, all of a sudden? You're supposed to answer my question. What? One month? Oh crap, I panicked and told the truth. Oh, that makes sense. One month? Do you mean you studied abroad for a month? I knew it. I knew something wasn't right. What? So that means how you live for three years is a lie. Erica lived in America for seven years. So Erica's English is real English. Wow. Baccarat. Seven years in America? So that means all this time. This class was like super easy for her. Wait, is Sensei sad? Oh no, the parents are put off too. Sensei? What, what is it now? You only stayed in America for a month? Yes. Ugh, she's going to make fun of me, isn't she? I'm so frustrated. Well then, you really are amazing. What? No one can speak that much in just a month. My friend stayed for six months, and she couldn't speak at all. So, how you could speak English by only homestaying for a month is amazing. Actually, you're right. Sensei, you're amazing. Erika-san, thank you. Everyone, I'm sorry for lying. I really don't have much experience abroad at all. Why did you lie to us? That's because I didn't want everyone to look down on me. In middle school, I was so bad at English that my friends made fun of me, and I was really frustrated with myself. I studied hard, but sometimes it just doesn't go well. I didn't know. Sensei, could you please tell us what you learned in college? I'll translate. What? What? All right. And so, the teacher started talking about her college days. In college, I studied economics and then went on working at a foreign film. Because I had more opportunities to speak in English, to work at the company I worked for, my job opportunities expanded. And then, I thought to myself, English expands our opportunities. That's why I wanted to teach English to kids. Wow! Sensei, you can speak that much! That's awesome! That's why you became an English teacher! I'm relieved, I'm relieved that she's a sound-thinking teacher. Sound teacher. Everyone, thank you so much! I'm so glad it all worked out! She's an amazing teacher after all! You guys would all be able to understand like Erika-san if you work hard. Let's all study together! Okay. okay! Sensei, teach me more English! I, I want, want to learn, learn too. too! Me too! Yes, of course! Erika-san, thanks for what you did in class! No problem! I'm glad it all went well! Yes, and I'm also sorry that I told you not to correct me. From now on, if I make a mistake, tell me right away! Okay! I'm never going to lie again. I'm going to be myself. And so, Aki-sensei was now respected by everyone in class. And everyone's now looking forward to English class. I'm happy for you, Aki-sensei!